Does the central government of India hold the life of a state's chief minister at ransom? This is the question that's shaking the Indian political landscape. The Amadmi Party, often abbreviated as AAP, has lobbed a serious accusation against the central government. They claim that the life of Delhi's chief minister, Arvind Kedriwal, is being put in jeopardy. The alleged weapon? Denial of insulin. For those unfamiliar with the man in question, Arvind Kedriwal is not just the chief minister of Delhi, but also a long-standing warrior in the battle against diabetes. His condition is reportedly managed with oral anti-diabetic drugs, a common course of treatment for many living with this chronic illness. However, the AAP alleges that Kedrawal's requests for insulin, an essential hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels, have been consistently denied. They further claim that Kedrawal's appeals for consultation with a diabetologist, a specialist in treating diabetes, have also been met with refusal. This, according to the AAP, is not just a denial of medical rights, but a blatant endangerment of Kedrawal's life. They suggest that the central government's actions, or lack thereof, are part of a larger conspiracy. The AAP insists that this is no less than a conspiracy to assassinate an elected chief minister. The AAP isn't just making empty accusations, they claim to have evidence. To back their claims, the party points to a letter. A letter from none other than the Director General of Tihar Jail himself. This letter was addressed to the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, or ACIMS as it's more commonly known, and it contained a request. A request for a diabetologist. Now, it's important to note that Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kedriwal, the man at the heart of this controversy, has been a long-standing diabetic patient. He has reportedly been managing his condition with oral anti-diabetic drugs. However, the AAP alleges that despite Kedrawal's requests for insulin and a consultation with a diabetologist, these have been denied. So why does this letter matter? Well, it's quite simple. The AAP claims that this letter contradicts the central government's claims of providing adequate medical facilities. If everything was truly in order, why would the Director General of Tihar Jail feel the need to request a diabetologist from AIMS? This isn't a matter that the AAP is taking lightly. They've been staging protests, making public statements and doing everything in their power to bring this issue to the forefront. They believe that this is more than just a case of medical negligence. They see it as a conspiracy, a plot to endanger the life of an elected chief minister. The controversy is far from over as the AAP continues to press their case. With the allegations out in the open, the controversy continues to unfold. The Arm Army Party, or AAP, continues to vocally express their grievances. Their claims of a political conspiracy to endanger the life of Delhi's chief minister, Arvind Kedriwal, by allegedly denying him insulin, are resonating across the country. Public reaction has been varied, with many expressing concern over the health and safety of their elected official. Some see this as a stark example of political rivalry taken too far, while others question the validity of the allegations, asking for concrete evidence to support the claims. The central government, on the other hand, has been relatively silent on the issue. Their response, or lack thereof, has raised eyebrows. It's a delicate situation with the potential to either affirm or erode public trust in the government. The political implications of this controversy are immense. If proven true, the allegations could seriously tarnish the image of the government, casting a shadow over their commitment to democracy and the welfare of their elected officials. On the other hand, if the AAP's claims are found to be baseless, it could backfire, damaging their credibility and standing in the eyes of the public. Moreover, this controversy has the potential to influence the public's perception of both the government and the AAP. The way each side handles the situation, their transparency and accountability, could sway public opinion in their favour or against them. The stakes are high, and every move is being closely watched. Beyond the specific issue at hand, this controversy has brought the state of political affairs in India into sharp focus. It has sparked discussions about the nature of political rivalry, the safety of elected officials, and the role of the government in ensuring their well-being. As we wait for more developments, one thing is clear. This controversy has brought the state of political affairs in India into sharp focus.